Alright guys, I'm going to try to open a challenge lock for you. Um, it's called Cold Boar by Bears Back. Oof. Hard words for me to say. Um, there's what the key looks like. It's not too challenging, but knowing the maker, it'll be tricky. There. I'm gonna try starting off with. Uh, I'll go counterclockwise. Gonna be using one of these hooks by West Coast Picks, and I believe I should be able to work from right here. Yeah, there we go. I have opened this lock before, um, once. I've tried to film it on camera a couple of times without success. Alright, hold on. I'm going to use a short hook. Short hook and then if I need to I'll, I'll go in with the, the deeper hook. There we go, that felt pretty good. This is a very fun lock. Like I said, I have opened it one time. That was several months ago, I think in October, maybe. So it's been a little bit since I've since I successfully opened it. But I'm hoping I can open it for you now. Switch to a fast Charlie hook. This fast Charlie hook seems to be working well. This is one he made where it started off as fifteen thousands. Then of course he you know shined it up and made it look nice so it's a little bit less than fifteen thousands now. And sometimes that's just what you need. Okay. Getting counter. Where'd it go? Pretty good false set. I don't know which one's holding us up. It could be number one. Yeah, I think it is number one. So, I'm going to switch. I'm going to try this. Mm. Oop, whoop, whoop, whoop. I will try that and see if it is number one. Yep, it was number one. Awesome. Alright, let's see what we have in here. Get my plug followers. I wasn't actually super ready. Um, I just spent 20 minutes working on one challenge lock, trying to, trying to open it without success.
so I didn't have any of my tools out. I mean, they were they were out, but I don't like to have them ready and waiting because I try not to have long videos, and I feel like having tools ready makes it easier to make them short, or at least not as long as I would be otherwise. All right, we have a key. We'll put her there. We'll use a shim. If I can, there we go. That does not want to fit. All right. She's another plug follower then. For whatever reason, that just wasn't sliding through. Six pins, threading in one, three, and five. Looks like counter milling in six. All right. Number one, torpedo with serration. Number two, thin waisted torpedo. Number three, two serrations. Number four, one serration. Number five, Two serrations, number six, three serrations. Beautiful work. Yeah, so you can see threading one through five, counter milling, and threading in six. I uh, probably have tweezers, huh? All right. Number one. Is a shim. Number one, very nice pool, steel spring. Number two, uh, a pool with a serration, maybe just a wide serration and a short serration. Similar thing in three. So far, all of these springs are the same. We'll go back from the other side. Another pool in six. Same spring. Wedding cake T pin in five. Beautiful work on that. And last. This was how it came out, kind of a mushroom pin. Mm. Not seeing anything up there. Okay. Zoom up for a closer look. Okay. Driver number one, beautiful work. I said driver. Uh, keep in number one, keep in number two, and this number three with those very fine serrations. Look at those. That's beautiful. Number five and number six. They're just really, really nice serrations. Driver one, driver two, three. Very similar to two. Four actually came out that way. That's the way that it was oriented when I opened it. Five is just beautiful wedding cake. And six. All right, guys, that was a very fun lock. Um, bears back. Sorry, I can't say her name, but thank you for making that lock. That was very fun. Thanks for, for sending it around. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out his channel, you should go check him out. I'll put a link to him in the description. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please hit like and subscribe. 
If you have any questions, leave them below. And thank you for watching.